going to talk to Lucas Wolf, the driver of the 5W, Allenbach Racing Maxim. He's out of Mechanicsburg, PA. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about Dad, your second-generation driver, and Dad came to Lernerville from time to time. A little bit about his career. Obviously, he had a, uh, a very long career, was able to uh, do this for quite a long time. He uh, mostly raced around uh, home in central PA, but was able to uh, travel out on occasions throughout the years. Uh, obviously, to Florida was always a, a good trip, and... Uh, and got out with uh, some of the legs with the outlaws, but never made it for a full year. So that's what I think uh, he probably enjoys this just as much as I do because it's something that he had tried to do for many years and uh, was unable to do it himself. So now he's able to kind of do that through us. Uh, you had a bad situation at Eldora. I understand a car was on fire. What happened? Yeah, had a bit of an issue there with uh, we lost an engine and got sprayed with fuel all at the same time. And uh, it was uh, just enough of a backfire with the engine to light it up. And uh, fortunately, I was able to... Uh, had uh, good stuff on and was able to avoid getting any burns and uh, be able to come back for more. You know, racers are tough, but I think, and I drove for many years, the one thing that you do fear is fire. You know, a rollover, a wreck, you can pretty much expect that, but that's, uh, we're glad that it wasn't a problem because uh, that could be very serious. Oh, certainly so. I mean, that's uh, something you're always afraid of. You know, you carry a lot of fuel back there behind you, especially at the start of a feature, but uh, it's like anything else. There are a lot of precautions have been made in the last uh, last 10 years or so for safety, and we uh, I wear as much stuff as I can wear, and it, uh, it paid off this time. Uh, 2008, Kevin Gobrick, Rookie of the Year. Uh, we lost Kevin too early, uh, unfortunate situation, but what a prestigious award for you to win. Yeah, it's fortunate. Obviously, it's good that the, uh, the Outlaws do that in honor of him. He was uh, obviously a good talent that was lost at uh, too early of an age, and I he was uh, becoming more and more popular and successful at the times when I was uh, – you know, just really first remember going to sprint car races around home, so it was good to uh, good to be able to win that. Another guy from uh, the Central PA area uh, coming from racing. I think it was a it was a good deal. And uh, we lost the sun. Okay, keep going. Uh, you're looking for your first World of Outlaws victory, and uh, this would be a good place to get one. A very prestigious race. A lot of uh, top guns have won here. Uh, what's the game plan? How do you prepare for this uh, with this kind of competition? Now, you've been running with the Outlaws, so you know what to expect, but uh, a lot of good guys here tonight. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always a tough field. Anytime you go somewhere that has a strong uh, weekly racing program, anytime the Outlaws come in, it's especially tough, especially with this one. The guys from Central PA come out and uh, a lot of extra guys from Ohio and the All-Stars. So it's, uh, it's always a challenging race, but any Outlaw races, all the good cars are always there. So we certainly would like to win this one. This is a good chance to get two opportunities at it tonight, but uh, good paying races, and it's, uh, it's good to have good events like this, and it's one that you look forward to all year got a pretty famous hero, uh, someone we like from around here, Dave Blaney. Yeah, I was uh, fortunate to grow up in an, area, in an era when he was uh, you know, really at the top of his sprint car game. And uh, my dad's shop used to be, and uh, Kenny Woodruff used to visit it quite a bit uh, with Dave's stuff. And uh, he was just always a guy that I seemed to like. I always thought he was uh, a uh, really smooth and uh, really controlled. I thought he was uh, extremely talented. And that's what I really enjoyed uh, last year when he ran the sprint car a couple times that I had a chance to race with him. So that was always a neat thing for me. The three-time winner here and a former World of Outlaws champion. Uh, he ran in the, the Lou Blaney Memorial on Tuesday night, finished third. That's a pretty prestigious race there to honor his father. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the team and some of your sponsors. Yeah, the, uh, the team continues to be uh, the backed by Jim and Laura Alibach. We've been, uh, been together for many years now and continue to do so. So that uh, continues to be a good uh, partnership. And uh, on the team, we have uh, my father and I. And we have uh, Carl from uh, Australia that's actually come over to help us for a couple weeks. So we've been uh, getting some extra help from him. And uh, as always, my other family members, uh, Tim and Eddie, that uh, come to most of the races when we're close. So it uh, continues to be a strong team. And uh, hopefully it'll be that way for many years in the future. You know, as soon as I saw you, I knew I liked you. But your two favorite restaurants are Subway and Waffle House. And I spend a lot of time. In, it's pretty obvious I spend a lot of time in both of them. Now, tonight, uh, it's awful hot. Uh, and that's going to have some impact on the setup. Uh, you do your qualifying and then uh, probably going to have to make some changes on the car. Yeah, it's going to, uh, you have to pay attention to the track. It, uh, it goes away pretty fast when the sun's this hot and it's, uh, it's always a challenge. That's what those guys that are the best at this are the ones that are able to read the track the best and know what's going to happen. So that's what uh, we obviously keep trying to learn and get better at. But uh, you pretty much know it's going to go away a fair amount. And uh, it's uh, always a challenging race to get your car set up that you're good at the end especially with the uh, double file restarts at the end you can make up a lot of ground in the last uh, last couple laps if you catch a few restarts right so you have to uh, you have to shoot to be fast the last third of the race and uh, 
hopefully you're in the right spot at the right time. I would be remiss if I didn't mention we have a mutual friend, uh, Jim Dinsmore, and I hear a lot about you and Dad on a regular basis. Jim's one of our reporters on Wrapping on Race. As a matter of fact, we had you as a guest uh, on the show one time. Uh, want to wish you good luck tonight. We're talking to Lucas Wolf, the driver of the 5W, and hopefully you can pick up that first win tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being with us.